Shares in EBR systems are up more than 100% over the last year as the company continues to revolutionize cardiac rhythm management with its wireless WISE CTR system used to treat heart rhythm diseases. Joining me ahead of appearing at Wholesale Investors Emergence 2025 event is Andrew Shute, Senior Vice President of Business Development at EBR Systems. Andrew, welcome to the Stock Network. Uh, great. Thanks for the invitation to, uh, to present. Now, traditional cardiac rhythm management systems use wires or leads to deliver energy to the heart. Can you tell us what sort of problems this can cause? Yeah, so um, as you mentioned, traditional pacemakers, implantable defibrillators, uh, CRT devices have relied on leads to deliver the electrical impulse uh, to the heart. And these have traditionally been the Achilles heel of these pacing systems. Like you imagine you've got a wire running into the heart and it's it's bending you know 70 times a minute and you can imagine if you're doing that with say your mobile phone charging cable it wouldn't be that long before either the insulation on the outside fractured or maybe the wires that are conducting the electrical stimulus fracture so this can happen uh, similarly after a lead has been implanted it can migrate which results in a loss of uh, a loss of pacing so to address these limitations, you know, the wider market's been moving towards leadless pacemakers, leadless in, uh, defibrillators over the last few years. Excellent. And looking, of course, to EVR systems, can you describe how your own WISE CTR system works in simple terms? Also, what advantages it provides over other businesses that are operating in the cardiac rhythm management market? Yeah, great question. So... Our initial indications that we'll launch with are to treat patients that have either failed to benefit from, uh, from CRT therapy or they were unable to have a successful CRT implant. So by the nature of those indications, all our patients will already have an existing pacing device uh, in their heart. And we use that for, for timing. And our system is unique in that we use a small uh, ultrasound transmitter implanted between the ribs that fires a focus beam of ultrasound at our electrode. And our electrode is, um, hopefully you can see this, around about the size of a, a grain of rice. And this is actually what's implanted into the heart. And why our system can be so small is because this is passive. There's no battery in that and there is no moving part. So it's powered by that uh, ultrasound uh, transmitter. Now, there are a number of other leadless pacemakers in the market and they're used for uh, much larger. They're around 20 times larger. And these are used for bradycardia or patients with a slow heart rate that are implanted into the right ventricle. Now, these other devices, due to their size, are not able to be implanted into the left ventricle. The left ventricle is in the arterial system. It has a tendency to clot. So if you implanted something of this size in the left side of the heart, it would likely develop a clot. If it was to break off, it would result in a stroke. Whereas in contrast, our electrode becomes completely endothelialized or the heart's own tissue grows over that within about 30 to 45 days, negating the ability to for a clot development on that. Excellent. Well, thank you, because there's nothing like a bit of show and tell. And I saw it on your website, but it's very different when you as a person hold it up. You can see just how small it is. Um, On to the global opportunity, really, in US sales. Just how big do you think this opportunity is for cardiac rhythm management? And when are you expecting to see first sales in your targeted US market? Yeah, thanks. So we're estimating the US market alone is, has a potential of 3.6 billion US dollars. So we're on track for FDA approval. We uh, Great to see the stock responding over our series of announcements over the last four weeks. And we're expecting uh, FDA approval on or before the 13th of April. Uh, now, one of the advantages that we have of uh, having the FDA's breakthrough device designation is that will automatically qualify for two interesting reimbursement schemes. The first is NTAP or new technology add-on payment for inpatients. And the second is the TPT or transitory pass-through payment, which is designed for outpatients. And we're estimating that both of these will come into effect on the 1st of October. And that's really the point at which we'll start our uh, limited market release phase of our commercialization. 
Excellent. Well, some incredibly exciting developments there and a very uh, near-term timeline that you're working towards as well. I look forward to seeing you at Wholesale Investors Emerge of Conference and also hearing that full EBR Systems presentation. Great. Thanks. Thanks for the opportunity to present, Lil.